Tilt systems have been around for a while, haven't they, Mike? Yes, yeah, so developed about 20 years ago to enable the sashes to be cleaned easily from inside the building. So why has Mighton felt the need to improve upon that system? Well, really, in response to health and safety regulations, this type of window is going to become more relevant in the future. And how has Might improved upon it? Well, it helps developers retain the traditional look of a timber sash window. Right, that was always the problem uh, with previous systems, wasn't it? You could see pretty well everything. You could see the balances, the channel, the weather stripping, everything. Okay. Uh, also, we've incorporated our ultra shoe in the system so you can adjust the balances while they're in situ. Right. And thirdly, um, it allows for the complete removal of the sashes. They can be take, taken out, put to one side. That gives you access to the outside of the window, which can be painted. Right, and the benefits of that are pretty obvious, I guess, especially if you're uh, three floors up. There is another improvement as well, is there not, Mike, in that the manufacturing process itself is now very much easier. Yes, we've simplified the whole process of manufacture. OK, well, let's see how all this works. And I guess the easiest way to demonstrate that is take it all apart and put it all back together again. OK. OK, we have taken our window apart and then some. And here's our then some. Here it is. Uh, we've used this to demonstrate exactly what's going on here. Mike, what is going on here? This is our structural jam liner. And this is going to contain the balances, the ultra shoes, the stay arms, all the weather stripping and these infill pieces that will cover up the plastic. OK, this is all might and product going on here, it isn't is, it? Yeah. This is extruded UPVC. Yep. And that, that's providing strength and structure to the window, isn't it? That's it. And uh, we have these wooden pieces here. They're all different. The three different pieces. Uh, just describe each one to us, Mike. Well, these two are infill pieces. This one's a narrow version. Uh, where we want to use a, a brush seal and then you can use the wider version to cover up the extrusion completely. And this centre piece here, well uh, maybe that's better looked at on the actual window itself, um, just here. It's stepped isn't it Mike? Yeah that piece forms a stepped unit so there's better security uh, with the window so there's no direct access from outside. And might and supply all of those uh, wooden pieces, don't you? That's right, because they're standard and then the joiner will just clad the frame in timber of his choice. And finally, for this section, uh, this piece down here, um, what's that about, Mike? Right, normally on um, tilt windows, you will see quite a large channel on the outside of the window. So we've covered in that channel with brush seal. Uh, so once the window's completely painted, that will actually disappear. We are at the next stage in our reassembly of the Eco Tilt uh, system, and it is the insertion of the top sash. And Mike, we're particularly interested in this area here, aren't we? That's right, Mark. So this is our guide latch that's going to keep the top sash in position. It will slide up and down in the groove in our cover strip. And here we're using standard weather strip, which follows the same line as the brush seal. That forms a complete perimeter around the edge of the sash. OK, we come to the final part of our jigsaw puzzle that is the Eco Tilt system. It's not a very big jigsaw puzzle, it has to be said, is it, Mike? No, it's a very simple fact. But uh, that's our safety stay in place. Uh, like so. And while we've got this bottom sash in place, uh, Mike, let's tell installers what Mighton can do for them. Well, as they probably know, trying to adjust balances while they're in situ is a bit of a nightmare. Right. You have to get uh, one of the special tools, try and grab the end of the balance while it's still under the tension, detach it from the pivot shoe, then try and turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise and pop it back into the shoe. Right, well that is in any language a kerfuffle. With ultra shoe though? With ultra shoe you simply put a screwdriver in the slot and turn it clockwise or anti-clockwise depending on the type of balance you're using and that will add tension to the balance. And that is it. That's it. There we go, jobs are good then. That is Mighton's Eco Tilt system.
like so, helping developers retain that traditional timber look, helping installers with the ease of ultra shoe, and helping window cleaners stay inside in the nice warm. Unlike us here in this freezing cold studio, I mean, it's cold, isn't it? It's, it's not freezing. just me. I mean, whose idea was it to film in January? I don't know, but somebody get me a coat quickly. Yeah, and me, and a hot cup of coffee, anything.